Welcome back to Final Cut Pro with the Fro. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can save your own presets inside of Final Cut Pro. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be color grading this clip and creating a preset off of that color grade, which will then be applied to these two clips. And if you'd like to know how I approach color grading, you can check out the previous video I did not too long ago that goes over how to color grade inside of Final Cut Pro X. So now once you've applied your color correction to the clip, you're going to come up to file, hit save video effects preset, and now we are prompted with this pop-up screen here. So this is where we can change the name of the effect. If you want to call it something specific, you can change it to that there. So I'm just going to call it Final Cut Pro Tutorial. And now we're going to add where we want to save it into. So this is the category. We'll click this. And if you would like to choose one of these categories to save it in, you can select any of these categories. Or if you want to create your own category, you can just hit new category here and change the name of it there. So for this, I'll just leave it with color. So I only used a color wheels effect and a color curve effect. So I'm going to make sure that both of those are selected because I want that to be in the preset. And here at keyframe timing, this is if you added a keyframe to the color effect, if you wanted it to go from lighter to darker, darker to lighter or anything like that, you could select the keyframes. But for this, I didn't do that. But if you did add keyframes, maintain timing would be it maintains the timing of that preset you created onto any other clip and stretch to fit will stretch that keyframe to fit any size of the clip that you made. So if it's a five second clip that you made the preset on, but it's a 10 second clip that you're adding the preset to, it will make sure on that 10 second clip, it will look exactly like how it does on the five second clip. Once you are set to create this preset, just hit save. Let's go over to this clip here and find the preset to apply to it. So I'm gonna hit the effects tab and I saved it into color. And you can see here, my Final Cut Pro tutorial preset is right here. So we can drag this onto this clip. And as you can see, it has changed the color. So it has the same color as this clip. And now we'll go to this clip and drag it onto here too as well. Now we have a consistent color grade throughout all of these three clips by using a preset. If you want to add in more than just color, you can add any other effect in here and be able to save it in its own preset. So let's say we wanted to add a bad TV effect to this, a hard light on the clip too as well. And now if we want to save this as a preset to apply to any other clip, we're going to come up here to file, save video effects preset. And now you can see it has added the hard light and bad TV we just added to that preset. You can change the name and select the category you want just like how we did before. So if you use an effect consistently, I would suggest creating a preset out of it. That way you can have the same exact settings every time and all you have to do is drag that preset onto the clip. And these presets don't just apply for video effects, they also apply for audio too as well. So right here I have some audio effects on a voiceover. So I've added some audio effects to this clip here, which is a dialogue and a little bit of voice over enhancement. What I'm gonna do to save this preset is come to file, save audio effects preset. And now you can see here, it has those settings that I've added in the attributes. We can change the name again. And we can save this to wherever we want inside the categories, or I can just create a new category. So I'll create it like that. And I don't have any keyframing on this, so I'll just save it to where it is. I don't have the effects applied on this clip. So what I'm gonna do, is come to the audio down here. I found Creative Pro in the Final Cut Pro voiceover. And now we can drag it to that clip and you can see it has added the settings to this clip and this will keep your sound consistent because you're choosing that preset to save onto all audio clips. This is great if you do do a podcast or maybe you do voiceover tutorials like this. You can just simply, rather than adding these effects manually every time you record, just create a preset and add it to your clip and that way you don't have to spend the extra time going through and manually changing and that way you keep a consistent sound throughout each video. So that's all I have for everybody today. I hope you learned something new and are able to now create your own presets to hopefully speed up your editing process and be able to create a consistent sound and visual effects for your video. These work great if you're working with a company that needs a consistent look and or sound or if you're trying to create a brand for yourself this is a great way to keep your look and sound consistent throughout all of your content if there's anything else you need to know about final cut pro let me know in the comments down below